Hello everyone, this is Andre, and today I want to show you how to make the floats for Phantom 2 Vision or uh, any Phantom for that matter. Uh, what you do is, it's very simple, if you've seen my other video, I was actually demonstrating uh, how the drone lands and takes off from water. Uh, well, it's a very simple project, uh, all you need is uh, that um, foamy tube that you can get at the dollar store, they're about a buck for the large piece, then you cut. Uh, this this piece here is 15 inches, uh, so you cut that piece and you mark it in the center and then uh, the landing gear is about 5 inches apart, so you want to measure uh, 2 and a half inches in this direction, 2 and a half inches in this direction uh, cut it with a knife and insert the landing gear into the tube uh, secure it with a couple zip ties, I've seen some people do it with a single zip tie, but uh, because of the curved shape it actually works much better with two zip ties. Uh, the next step uh, I did is uh, so how to create the shape I first of all I put a beer cap inside here uh, and that's to make sure that there's no water going into the tube as it floats much better when it's remains filled with air. Uh, then secure the beer cap with a zip tie on all four sides and then what you want to do is you want to put uh, some fishing line as you can see here between the zip ties and uh, when you give it some tension that will give you that uh, curved shape and then the other thing you want to do is if you notice when I lift the drone those flows they tend to point downwards and come together a little bit and uh, the reason you want to do that is it gives you much better uh, stability when it's on the water but it also gives you better clearance with the camera when it's on the water so this way uh, the camera does not touch the water whether it's pointed down or whether it's pointed straight forward and um, so to do that what you want to do is the two fishing lines that give you that curvature you just connect them together with another fishing line so kind of looks like this pretty simple as i said very simple construction uh, then the other thing that i would probably recommend is uh, that piece here just uh, mo i moved it up a little bit you don't have to do it but i recommend it so it, all you do is just uh, use a phillips small phillips screwdriver undo those screws just a little bit you don't want to take them out just just undo them a little bit so you can move it move it up put the screws back in secure them and uh, that's pretty much it so as you can see the curvature of those floats is about the same as the arms and um, yeah, gives it excellent uh, flotation and uh, one very important thing is uh, really the reason behind the curvature is um, to give it a good field of view even when using it on the wide angle uh, as I've seen a lot of different uh, floats on YouTube and elsewhere that they're either just straight, too short, or have the whole bottom covered. And uh, the problem I found with these is that when it's too short, it just tends to fall on the side, uh, one side or the other, usually tends to lean towards the back. Uh, or if you have something that covers the entire bottom, then it's not very usable with the camera. So. That's it. I hope you liked the video. Uh, leave your comments below if you have any questions or just want to comment. Have a great day.